Hello, YouTube viewers. Another Hero Factory review. Of course, this is on my one of my newest Hero Factory figures. Yep. And if you want to see the little small collection update I made for them, go to the Daikaiju Movie Theater channel. Though this is on my normal channel, so I'm just giving you guys a reference to those who watch my video videos. So here it is. I got the series four. Job laid. 45 pieces, um, 200 game points. So, yeah. Let's get him out of here. This is already built. I've messed around with him a lot because he's really fun. He's a. Though some people say uh, just because he's a shark with arms, you know, they don't really like it. But for what it is, I would say this is actually one of my favorite sets. Kind of a tad bit from like series four. Maybe I should do something like this. Like that. So the bag comes like this. Two hundred points. That's what that looks like. game is actually pretty cool from what I've played of it, so. Just do this right here. So, yep. Alright. So, this is Jawblade. Probably the most disliked villain and maybe even figure from the whole set. Maybe. From, from what I've heard, you know, some people really don't like him. So, articulation, he's got quite a bit. His back fin. This is on a ball joint, so it can move. This is on a ball joint, too. So it can, like, do this. This one can go up, down, turn the sides a little bit. And yeah, if you hear that sniffing, like that <sighs> noise, that was my dog. She's outside my door. Like, I want you in. I want you in. So yeah, his tail can like do a swimming motion, which is really good. Uh, very, maybe challenging for stop motion, but, you know, I'm up for it. Then we have ball jointed, I guess you could say fins slash legs, if you really wanted to go that far. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows. Right hands. Hinged jaw. Make these go up. So you know, I'm talk. Wow, wow. I like little chicken to eat on Thursdays. Oh. And his chop top head is ball jointed so you know he oh, 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 like no. or you can issuing that he's getting punched really hard or he's laughing oh, or he's even throwing up or for like I had to do it that issues his like gonna charge moment so like he'll be sitting there He'll go, he'll do that, or he'll sit there like this, and then just, and he charges them like that. That's how I kind of issue it, but the heroes don't know. So yeah, very, very nice figure. Yeah, and you can give him to stand, you know, just put him like that. Or, you can even do that. He's a little bit more standing. Then maybe move these. And there you go. Uh, his weapons are Furno's series, I believe, one weapon. No, not series one. Series two weapons, I believe. 
No, these were Furnos Series 1, right? I don't know. I believe these... Yeah, these are a Series 1, because I remember Series 1 had Furno. His weapon was that, so. And this guy has some pretty good playability, I mean, for what he is. I mean, you have the unhinging jaw, you have the tail. And you got these, I mean, you can use them as melee weapons, mid-melee weapons, as in, like, kind of like throwing devices. You can have them as shooters, as blasters, how I believe they originally were. But he uses them for, of course, melee weapons, as you guys can see in the Jaw Blade vs. Uh, Ferno video. And then, you know, you can do many things with them. And then for scaling, I only have one Series 4 figure, besides this one. I almost got Ferno. I was probably that close to getting Ferno. About as big as he was, but... I want this one a lot more. This one's a lot. Uh, this easily kicks all of my other hero figure, hero factory figures, but uh, he just kicks them so hard. It's hard to believe. I didn't think I was gonna like him this much, but of course, it's the main hero in Hero Factory since Wave Three. That is Raka. Get him to stand. This is a godly figure, to put it. So yeah. Uh, from from what I see in the video, he should maybe be that big or something. He, you know, he should be bigger. And maybe that was just because they were in the ocean. But his his jaw to Ferno was like. Uh, like that to him. So yeah, he could be a little bit bigger, but uh you know, because this is how the set was made and Rocco was made how he was made, I believe this is okay. I don't think it's really that big of a deal that he's a tad bit shorter than what maybe some people wanted. So yeah. Rocco will get a review soon. Maybe. Who knows? So yep. Yeah. This has been the review on Jawblade. Uh, he's got a good coloration to black and red and silver. I really like that. Um, he's pretty well built. I mean, just, you know, looking at how his pieces fit together and stuff. 45 pieces, kind of hard to believe they fit in here. But, like, there's a few of them left, of, left over. But um, So this is easily one of the better looking. Maybe not one of the better figures altogether, but this is one of the better looking. So yeah, this has been Jawblade. I believe he's gonna get a 4.5 out of 5, just because um, there's not really any improvement really, but I just can't give him a 5, though these legs are just sometimes irritating, or fins, if you will. But yep, that's what he gets, a 4.5 out of 5, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.